I was 100% an atheist, big time. I believed only in work, bills, taxes, and death. I chased after work. The acceptance of my family, friends, anybody actually. I didn't know who I was at all. I didn't have a sense of power or um, confidence as well. So I chose to drink because it gave me a voice and it gave me power when I'm normally very quiet. When I was 18, he freed me from that addiction. I prayed to him and that's the first time I really heard his word. Instead of like grasping on to the freedom that he gave me, I used it to experiment and just get trapped in other forms of addiction. I also had a lot of fear in my life. Um, I was just scared. I really isolated myself. When he looks at your darkness, you want to run away because he's holy. It hurts to see your own darkness and, and his light. Um, but it is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my life. Yeah, I gotta know that there's people out there that need, they need to know. They need to know the truth. They need to know that there's something on the other side of that depression and that darkness. And it's not a pill. It's not, um, I found my worth in relationships and uh, men. And like, I always ended up in these bad relationships that led, led me nowhere. Um, and so now what the Lord is teaching me is his love for me. And until his love is enough for me, there's nobody's love going to be enough. The good news is, man, like, God loves us. He sent his only son to die for us. And that's just love in itself. Like, it's like you being separated from your kids and knowing that God did that for us. He loves us. He loves, like, me. He wants me. To know that such a powerful God sent his son to die for me and man to just raise him for and like i get to live my life you know it in all my mess because of jesus i feel a lot of love um like i felt love before from family but this is a different kind of love it just strikes me that the God of the universe would send his son and that Jesus would come willingly. He did it all like willingly, like for the joy set before him, right? Hebrews talks about that. And when I first came into the refuge, I thought I loved God. And our director, Becca, told me like, if you loved God, you'd obey his commands. And so I had to take a look at my faith and of, of my heart. And that's that has changed for me. I love God and I, I want to obey him. And walking through all this stuff. And it's only to heal me to where I can be free. And, you know, just breaking all these chains that I've put on myself, it's, uh, it's amazing. He allowed that to happen in order to break my pride and my understanding of who I make God into, instead of looking at him for who he is. Of course, there's free, there's like fear a little bit, you know, fleshly fear of failing and falling. Um, but when I calm down and I center myself in Christ, I, I'm a conqueror um, because of Him, and I don't have to fear. You know, when you have a cooked spaghetti, right, and you go to throw it on the cabinet and it doesn't stick, um, I feel like that's how my life was before. You know, I was just this and you know done person now that i'm following the lord i feel like i'm that that noodle that can, you can throw in the cabinet and it will stick um yeah the lord has has stuck to me um since day one um i know i'm not finished yet but i'm gonna keep going until his work is done but the lord just proves himself to me over and over and over again just reassuring me um because he knows um, that's personal to me um, for him just to reassure me and to let me know that he's got me and that he is um, number one in my life. Because you know, when you come in here, you don't think, you don't think you're worth anything. You don't think that you're worth the fight, but like Jesus fought for us. Yeah, like I have to, to I can't just be a doer or a hearer of the word. I have to do it. I have to put action to it. 
because um, I can already see the fruit, you know, it's producing stuff. And I want to produce a lot. This is my sacred confession of my faith that Jesus Christ is Lord. This is my sacred confession of faith. Jesus Christ is my Lord. This is my sacred confession of faith. Jesus Christ is my Lord. This is my sacred confession of faith that Jesus Christ is Lord. This is my sacred confession of faith. Jesus Christ is my Lord. This is my sacred confession that Jesus Christ is Lord. And I love him so much. This is my sacred confession of faith that Jesus Christ is Lord.